Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door Rubicon in black clear coat. This is stock number 24J27. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters, and just really wanted to give you a good overview of this 2024 Jeep Wrangler. This is one of our very first two-door 2024s on our lot. It's the uh, mid-model refresh. If you didn't know, Jeep redesigned the Wrangler for 2024 just a little bit. It's not a complete refresh, but some design changes and functionality changes happened on the Wranglers. Uh, like I said, this is a 2024. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We do stuff like this each and every day. And uh, this one has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It puts out 285 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. It's paired up with the eight-speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon highway and 16 city for an average of 18 miles per gallon. This is a Rubicon package, so you can always tell they got the red tow hooks on them. Um, obviously, the Rubicon decals on the hood as well. And new for 2024 is all the Rubicons are gonna come standard with the LED lights. So you get the LED headlamps, the LED halo running lights, as well as the LED lights in the fenders and the LED fog lamps. Now I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video, so stick around for that. This will be a pretty quick video being a two door. Um, you, get, you can see that the grill has been um, shrunk down a little bit. Uh, it used to go down all the way to there and uh, they made them just a little bit thinner. Uh, still has the seven slots, the granite crystals surround. This one has the front facing camera or trail cam. You get the sports style hood on this one. This one has BF Goodrich all-terrain uh, T8 KO2 tires. These are LT28570 R17s, painted and polished aluminum wheels. Also new for 2024 are the uh, center caps now have the Jeep logo on them, as well as all the different wheel designs. Uh, they've changed all those up as well. This one just has the plastic fenders. You can still get the painted fenders on it. The other big thing for 2024 is you'll notice that there's no more antenna. This is where the antenna used to go. Now they can put a trail rated badge, so both sides now have trail rated badges on them. And the other thing is that because there's no antenna there, the antenna is now built into the windshield. And on top of that, all the windshields are the Corning Gorilla Glass. Uh, minus the sport package. Uh, still has the T50 to get those doors off. We did a video on how to take your doors off your Wrangler. If you want to check that out, that's linked in the description and in the upper right hand part of the screen. All the Rubicons are going to come with the rock rails on there. And we'll take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, but most of it. 2024 Wrangler two door Rubicon. Uh, base price is $45,395. Black exterior, black interior. I think it looks more gray, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it looks gray, but they call this black. Um, 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, eight speed auto. Everything here is your standard equipment. And then interior features, you can see the new radio for 2024 is the 12.3 inch Uconnect 5 touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, uh, Google Android Auto, Sirius XM, Jeep Connect, all that good stuff is your standard equipment there. The optional equipment starts with the black clear coat, which is 595 bucks. The convenience group gives you the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start in 2024. Technology group is 2295. That gives you the Alpine premium audio system, the HD radio, GPS navigation, connected travel and traffic surfaces, Uconnect 5 nav with the 12.3 inch touchscreen display, integrated voice command and integrated off-road camera. So eight-speed automatic transmission is a $4,500 option and then the three-piece hardtop is $1,495 and those 17-inch uh, painted and polished aluminum wheels are $1,095. Total MSRP on this one is $58,165. If you wanna get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep Wrangler in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website, also linked in the description below. Three-year 36 bumper to bumper and five-year 60 powertrain. There's your fuel economy and your greenhouse gas rating and smog ratings. And it's not really rated for any of the uh, government five-star safety ratings. 
except roll over, which is three stars. And we'll get into the interior in just a little bit because there's a lot that's changed with the dash and everything. Um, four wheel disc brakes on the Wranglers. You can see that black hard top there. That is not a color match. Uh, the color match ones are gloss black, if they match the gloss black. The other thing to note is the tail lamps are all LEDs as well. This one does have a receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. You also get the red tow hooks back here and all the Rubicons are gonna come with those red shocks on them as well. There's a matching spare tire and you can see the tread pattern on there a little bit better than the front tire. And then your backup camera is standard on the Wranglers now as well. Back here, you get your storage bag for your front hardtop pieces. You get an all weather floor mat, or I'm sorry, an all weather subwoofer with uh, that Alpine premium sound system. Now you lose the storage area under there, but you also get door hinge, roof, and windshield bolt holders back here. These back seats can come out. They uh, go down and up, and then you can pull that bar and get those out. We actually did a demo on how to take your two door uh, Wrangler seat out. That's linked in the, the description as well. And then the hard top, they have uh, four bolts on each side and two quick disconnects. We did a video on that as well. As you guessed, that's in the description below. Um, the only thing different is on the 2024s, they have these quick disconnects store inside of here instead of uh, the piece that used to sit up there. So that's a little bit different. One thing to note back here, little Easter egg, uh, seven slots on the back door. You also get a JL badge right here with two door, four door, wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording and where it's built and developed. So that's pretty cool. Door shuts nice and solidly and smoothly. It's easy to close those now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the outside. If you had any questions, just write them in the comments below. Um, I check YouTube every day, so I'll get to you for sure. Inside, you get the, what they call black cloth bucket seats. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest. You get the red stitching on those seats. Driver's seat height adjuster, a lumbar, factory floor mats. And the other new thing for 2024 is that you can get power seats, but that only comes with the leather interior. So you cannot get power seats on the cloth interior yet. Jeep, are you listening? Let's get some power seats on those cloth seats. Uh, you get a Wrangler and a Gladiator back to back. That is a new uh, piece on there for 2024. The dash trim is different as well. This is like a Kind of like a rubber material. I wouldn't call it leather. Uh, auto headlamps, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, telescopic steering wheel. Hop inside, check out this 12 inch, 12.3 inch radio. You get the Rubicon animation on the seven inch LCD display. Nothing's changed um, on the center count or on the inf instrument cluster, I should say. I uh, still get the digital speedometer and everything on there. Heated leather wrap steering wheel. One thing that has changed, I noticed, noticed across the Chrysler Dodge Jeep lineup is the leather that they use on the steering wheels is, um, it's like a softer touch leather, but it feels thicker. Like it feels like a, a more sturdy leather, but it's, it's really soft to the touch. Um, kind of cool. And the other thing I noticed is that most of the Wranglers now have the adaptive cruise standard. Um, I believe that is a standard feature on the Rubicon now, as well as the cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls in the back. And pretty much the whole Chrysler lineup is going to this uh, because I haven't seen a Grand Cherokee in probably a year that doesn't have the adaptive cruise on it. So anyways, let's check out that 12.3 inch radio. You get the AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio uh, capabilities. You can see Radio Margaritaville there. Rest in peace, Jimmy Buffett. Um, sad days. Anyways, uh, factory navigation system, um, the Uconnect 5 radio. This is supposed to be five times faster than the Uconnect 4 radio. Get the navigation system there. You get all your different apps on here. And I'm not going to go through everything, but you got AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliaries, uh, you can have your comfort here, your heated seats, heated steering wheel, the navigation system, 
um, Android Auto. You can do Apple CarPlay on here. Got all your different vehicle settings, including the forward camera, which is, well, that's the backup camera. If we go to the forward camera, that's pretty cool because you can turn the steering wheel. And as you turn the steering wheel, those lines change. So they're dynamic as you turn the steering wheel. And it's just kind of showing you where you're going to be in the future. If you're off-roading, that'd be a really cool thing uh, to have. And you can clean the uh, glass right there. That's pretty cool. And then you have your backup camera right there. And those are crystal clear HD. Love that Jeeps made those. Uh, you get your off-road pages as well, which are pretty cool. Those load up instantly as opposed to the old uh, 8.4 or the 4C radio. Uh, took a while to load those. These load up instantly. And as you turn the steering wheel here, you can see that those tires turn on there and the steering angle changes. You also get if your sway bar is connected, front axle if it's connected, it's rear axle if it's connected, transfer case locked or unlocked, latitude, longitude, and altitude there as well. Get your accessory gauges and your pitch and roll. If we were within satellite signal inside the picture studio here, we don't get that, uh, but it would tell you if you were tilted or slanted, and then you can go back to that forward-facing camera. So that's really pretty much everything on here. I got a couple other just apps that I'm going to show you. And if you guys ever want me to show anything in these videos, just let me know in the comments. And then the vehicle just takes you back to those controls. You can do all your settings and everything. But anyways, uh, they changed the dash layout. They used to have two um, air vents here on each either side of the radio. Those are gone. The air vents are now underneath the radio. And you also get lose a storage area up here. It's kind of separated. You get two little storage areas as opposed to one big one. Anyways... Everything below these vents is exactly the same as the 2023s. Climate, volume, tune controls, heated seats, cooled seats, front and rear axle lock, rear axle lock, off-road mode plus, and sway bar disconnect. This is this stuff is really what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. This is really the big difference other than the couple styling changes. You get the four auxiliary switches um, included with that receiver hitch and wiring the 4x4 shifter on the floor, and the 8-speed automatic transmission. You still have the same keys with the flipper key and uh, keyless entry and remote start on there. Nice big chunky key fob there. Get that same material on the passenger side dash. dash. Assistant SOS buttons, auto dimming mirrors, and home link buttons uh, for your garage door security systems and lane systems. The other big thing that uh, Jeep has done on these Wranglers for 2024 is they now come standard with side curtain airbags, front seats, and back seats. So that is a big safety feature um, on the Wranglers that is new for 2024. They also have map lights that are now individualized for the occupants. They used to be in one big center council there um, or cluster and now they're on there and there and right here. So they changed those up as well. I'm going to turn all the lights on and then what we'll I'll do is turn off all the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright they are and we'll do a final walk around and I hope you enjoyed the video and I like going from a certain spot here and then we'll pause it turn the lights off and then you can see it one final time for a final walk around here okay so you can see just how bright those lights are all of them are LEDs. All of them are super bright. I'm really glad Jeep has gone to the all LED lighting um, for pretty much across the board. It's, uh, you can really just see so much better than those old halogen lights on the uh, 2023s and stuff. To even offer that as an option was kind of ridiculous for as long as they did. Um, now the Sport package still only gets the normal halogen lights and the Sport S package, the LED lights are an optional thing. You can see you get the LED tail lamps there as well and the LED license plate lights too. So that is everything I have on the two-door Jeep Wrangler Rubicon for this one. And uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope it was helpful and got you all the options that you were looking for on this particular Jeep Wrangler. If you liked the video, like I said, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day. 
and all of our vehicles are listed right there at summitauto.com full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle including this one all at summitauto.com and if you'd like to check out more hd videos you can go to youtube.com summitauto click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos i do each and every day as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and specifically jeep wrangler walkarounds on youtube we're inching closer to 9,000 videos on the channel um, each and every day, so that's really cool. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, almost 500 videos in that playlist, so definitely go check them all out there, and a link to this vehicle in our, on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And uh, we're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler two-door Rubicon in black clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.